At 11 tonight, the fight over border security intensifies as a third migrant bus from Texas dropped off asylum seekers this morning outside of Vice President Kamala Harris's residence in Northwest D.C. Thanks for joining us. I'm Charlotte McBride. Migrant buses have been arriving to the nation's capital since April, but this week the buses have been dropping off migrants at the Naval Observatory under the direction of Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz has more. Early Saturday morning, a third bus from Texas dropped off about 50 migrants in front of the Naval Observatory grounds, which is also where Vice President Kamala Harris lives. The majority of the migrants coming on the bus today were from Venezuela. Unlike the two buses that arrived on Thursday with 100 migrants, advocate groups were on scene to receive the asylum seekers. About 50 migrants, a lot of children. Uh, there's about one month old baby on the bus. Tatiana Laborde from SAMU, an organization that has been assisting the intake of the asylum seekers in the nation's capital, says only a small number plan to stay in the district. She says the majority of people have their eyes set on other places like New York City, where another three buses arrive Saturday morning. We will continue busing migrants to Washington, D.C., to New York until President Biden does his job. Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott doubling down on his state-funded program to bus migrants across the country and on his decision to send them to the vice president's residence after Harris said the border was secure during a recent Sunday interview. On the humanitarian side, understand this. The humanitarian problem that America is suffering right now is caused by the Biden administration. On Tuesday, the D.C. Council is set to vote on an emergency bill that would allow for the creation of the Office of Migrant Services. It will help us tailor our needs um, for migrants to provide reception services, reps, spit services, meals, transportation, uh, urgent medical needs. We Advocate groups are telling me that some of those migrants that arrived on the third bus are already on their way to their final destination. They believe that buses will continue arriving here at the Naval Observatory. That's why they're going to focus their efforts in this area. They're saying they don't want to see people stranded like we saw Thursday morning. In Northwest, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9.